fight of the night. Champion number three rounds running at 170 pounds. First out of the right corner from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Kuchlong, Kuchlong out of Sioux Falls, uh, another one of Bruce's students from Next Edge Academy. Again, uh, you know, Next Edge is 1-0 so far tonight, but he'll be taking on Lucas St. Clair, who uh, shows 6-7-1 on paper, but he is about one of the most talented fighters you'll, you'll ever see. If he can polish that, he'd be uh, unstoppable. Yeah, you remember guys in high school and college that are the, those gifted athletes that you don't, they don't do much, they don't have to do much, they just have uh, the gifted ability to do whatever they do, and I believe that Lucas St. Clair is one of those. Just incredibly tough, he will not give up. Uh, he fought Anthony Smith, who's uh, fighting in strike force now, and got his toes caught in the cage and uh, broke, broke a couple toes there at 90 degrees to the rest of his toes, and he didn't say a thing about it until after the fight. Uh, didn't slow him down a bit. Uh, he, he just does not quit. Incredibly heavy hands. Freakishly strong. Just needs to, to polish that. Hey, yeah, he went toe to toe with Mr. Mean Bean. Beat Tat Romero to win the 170 pound belt. And Tat Romero, I mean, no slouch at all. Great record, knockout power, great wrestling. And also, it seems like there's been a Facebook war that started as of recently. Mr. Uh, Lucas St. Clair calling out Dane Sayers, who's fighting on the main fight tonight. Yeah, they had that a comes about. fight scheduled way back one that never came to fruition, and they want to want to finish that. But Kuchlong, Kuchlong, I, I want to say I've seen him fight before, but I uh, can't say for sure. I think it was a while ago, and he may have fought it in Fargo. I remember seeing him at the Fargo Open last year. Okay. Lucas has fought anywhere from 205 and, you know, a couple times at 170, and that's that's a big cut for him. He's a, a lot of muscle. Yeah, he's done some boxing, too. Car for Lucas. I want to say he was only three or four pounds above the, the limit a couple days before weighing. So, uh, Eddie Obregon in his corner. I was going to say, that looks like Mr. Obregon over there. Grand Forks, boxing trainer for many, many, many years up there. I know Lucas trained with, with Eddie and Butch Hitchak up there in Grand Forks for quite a while. Unless the, the world spin in the opposite direction, Lucas is going to come out fast and hard. And, uh, he's uh, a lot of power and I hate to say it, but he tends to gas. Let's we'll see if that's different this time. Looking really lean. Yeah, very lean. Lucas fought uh, B.J. Lacey at the very first fight at the Target Center way back in, I want to say it was 2007, to a odd decision, some sort of majority draw or disputed decision, I know it was. Here we go, round one. 
Uchlan coming out, southpaw, Lucas, orthodox as always. This is the most uh, reluctant, they're poised, they're calculated. I see Lucas. Yeah, he did not come firing out. He's definitely feeling this out. Real good counter uh, left kick to the liver from Kuchlan as Lucas came in. So Lucas is half guard currently. Kuchlan gets it back to full guard. Lucas going for a can opener there. Lucas has to be careful posturing up like that. Kuchlang has his right arm isolated. Lucas' is right arm isolated. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes for something there. Yeah, definitely see utilizing Kuchlang uh, doing some the BJJ more so than, than Lucas at this point. Oh, looking to pass that right arm and set up a triangle, looks like. It's close. Good job, Lucas, keeping that, oh. using that hand to keep out of the triangle. Left hook for Lucas. Kuchlong throwing a lot of those left kicks. Lucas already with his mouth open. Yeah, you say we're looking at a possible gas already. It's nice always right. dangerous. Definitely going for the mall and brawl style right now. Kuchlong definitely wanted to be going to the uh, technical aspect. Yeah, you're not, not going to match Lucas's power and strength. Kuchlong in side control. That looks going to be careful right now. Yeah, good job transitioning. Got He's Lucas flattened in. out. Got his back. Kuchlong going in for the rear naked, taking advantage of uh, Lucas taking a gasser here. That crank. Half of the rear naked, see what comes of it. Lucas trying to turn into him. Oh, but setting up an arm bar here, almost giving it to him. Out the back door, see what we can get out of here. Still got a minute and a half to go. Lucas shakes him off, but right into a He's got an arm in there. It's not quite a triangle. Oh. Going for the arm bar from the bottom. Looks like he's setting up the arm bar for certain. Lucas going for the muscle out of it instead of turning. Not sure what happened there. It definitely like, was not the end of the round. No, it looked like a verbal tap right before the bell there. The horn, I guess it is in this case. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why the horn came on. There's still a minute 22. Oh, good point. I'm assuming from the looks of everything that was a, a, a submissive tap, but... Yeah, Lucas definitely said something, and uh, ref is supposed to construe that as a tap. Anytime a fighter utters anything, any, any anything verbal is supposed to be construed as a ta construed as a tap. They go over that in the fighter meeting. So, if it hurts, don't let the ref know. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen. Another win for Next Edge. Yeah, showing off that Bruce Laird Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, Kuchong looked really well-rounded. Nice. Uh, yeah. 
Bruce mentioned uh, Chad was going to come up and do some commentary. Chad, I believe it's Chad Anthony. Yeah, I, I did say that on Facebook. I believe Chad Anthony's coming up. Oh, yeah, there was the, the tap. Didn't see it from the other angle. So he did tap with his left? 